In this tutorial we are going to look at how to set up a potentiometer for use in a robot C program. I want to write a code here for a potentiometer that will turn a motor on for three seconds when I turn it past 3500. In robot C I'm going to use the natural language and my until commands that talk about the potentiometer. In this case since I want the motor to turn on when it's past 3500 I'm going to use a command that says until potentiometer greater than. Let's go into robot C and take a look at how that's going to work. The last code I had in robot C was a simple code using a switch. This code looks pretty pretty good so far so I'm going to leave it intact and just add to it. Okay. Once the motor starts I want it to run for three seconds instead of running until I bump a switch. So I'm going to take out the until bump command Go on the left hand side under natural language and find a wait command. And that wait command is going to be for three seconds. So I double click wait time, type in a three on my keyboard, and this code would allow that motor to start, run for three seconds, and stop. If I remember what my task is, it is to make the motor start when the potentiometer is greater than 3500. So I'm going to make a little space at the top before start motor so I can drop a new command in. At this point, I'm going to go back to the left hand column under natural language and find until. If you remember earlier, I'm going to use the until potentiometer greater than command. So I'm going to click that and drag it to the top of my code, making sure that it's still between the two curly brackets. At this point, I have to fill in the two codes within parentheses and then see how this would work. So I'm going to double click the word position. What position does the potentiometer need to be at? It needs to be greater than 3500. So I'm going to type in 3500 in that spot. Sensor port asks for where it is plugged in in my build. And when I look at my build, I have it in the analog 2 port. So for sensor port, I'm going to type IN for analog and 2. This is where I have it plugged in. If I look at this command, it says it, the program will wait until the potentiometer is greater than 3500. It will start the motor. It will run for 3 seconds, and it will stop. The only thing I don't know at this point is what value the potentiometer currently is set at. So I'm going to check my program. I can go to the top bar and compile it see that there's no errors so I'm gonna go ahead and download that to my robot once I get the little pop-up menu it says program debug I'm gonna go to the robot command at the top of my screen it's that top bar I'm gonna click that and about halfway down I'm gonna look for the debugger window and follow my mouse down to the word sensors when I click on sensors the very bottom should bring the current value of all my sensors the line follower is at 3000, potentiometer is at 600. On my build, I'm going to turn my potentiometer just to make sure it works. And I see that as the number goes up, it can go past 3500. Because I don't want my motor to start up immediately, I'm going to turn my potentiometer so I see that sensor value is less than 3500. Now I can click start. I will go turn my potentiometer until it goes past 3,500. And I could hear my motor start. It ran for three seconds, and then it stopped.